Hey friends, on today's adventure, we're going to Dollywood's Dream More Resort. My hope is that by watching this video, you'll see all that this resort has to offer. I'm gonna go through all the places you can eat, things you can do, and hopefully give you a really good idea of what the rooms are like and what uh, this resort has to offer if it's the right choice for you and your family. So it's just a beautiful resort. So we're gonna head on into the lobby. I'll give you a tour around what it's like. And I always love when you come in right behind the reception desk, this beautiful animated wall of all sorts of amazing scenes from the Great Smoky Mountains. You can also see here is a picture of Dolly and it's just a very quaint, very relaxing. It's almost like you're in her house, in her living room which here is called the family room, which is a great room to come and enjoy a coffee together, play a board game. The fireplace when it's on in the, in the cooler months is always so relaxing, but very nice room to come and relax in. And across from the family room, you have the living room. And it's again another very relaxing area with a great fireplace just sit around in the cooler months around the fireplace you got a tv up there and you can see some of these different instruments up on the wall that that are authentic dolly parton instruments and then right off the main lobby you also have the ticket sales area so they're very helpful if you're looking to get tickets for a theme park or one of the numerous dinner shows in the area. This is a place where you can come over and they would be great to help you out. Or if you wanna just on your own, come over and get a ticket in this self-service ticketing. So they have a number of uh, pizza and item things you can come get and order at the Dream More Pantry. Just wanna give you a look at some of the options of salads and fruit and wraps and yogurts. So there's a number of things here to kind of fit your diet needs, bunch of drinks. And then you got a bunch of different snacks and chips that you could come down here and grab as well as a whole sweets and treats section. You can also order some cinnamon bread. And here's a look at the whole menu, all sorts of coffees, bagels, biscuits, croissants, number of things, and they serve Starbucks coffee. So you can come down here and get a Starbucks. And as part of Camp DW, they serve this Dolly's Pink Lemonade from four to six daily. The kids all love this. As well as a number of different things that they'll do daily and you can always check the board to see. Also give you a look inside this little gift shop right off the main lobby where they have all sorts of Dolly swag. You can come here, check out and bring something home. And at the bottom floor of the lobby, you gotta check out this box that has Dolly's last recorded song that comes out on her 100th birthday that she's the only one that knows. And as well as some other things to check out, like all of her albums. You can walk through and see all sorts of Dolly stuff and other things around the resort. And this resort obviously has a functioning spa. So you can come in here and get a massage, couples massage room. They have manicures, pedicures, all sorts of things. You can come in here and just relax when you come to the Great Smoky Mountains. And if you're into exercising on your vacation, well, you could do that here in the little fitness room. The resort also has a game room that you can come in here and I'll give you a look at some of the games. The 
They have a Camp DW room. At the time of this video, they actually kept it closed down and just did activities outside in different locations. So here's the indoor pool I wanna give you a look at. What's nice is you can do this year round. So if it's a colder month that you are coming, you can definitely still enjoy swimming in the indoor pool. There are a number of rocking chairs around the property, just very relaxing to come out as a family. And in this case, we were able to look out at the views of the Great Smoky Mountains and the pool, which we're gonna go check out now, the swimming hole. You can see here, towels are provided for you when you come down and you can swap out your towel, it's always nice. And I'll just give you a little look at the pool area. And this was probably our family's favorite feature of this pool, which is this little mini lazy river right in the pool next to all these little waterfalls. Very relaxing. Then they also behind that have a hot tub area. So this was very well kept, very warm, very relaxing. And you can look at the little kitty splash pad. All right, I'll show you a little bit of the menu for the pool side. You can go up and order soft drinks, juices, all sorts of things. We uh, tried out these daiquiris. We got a strawberry and peach. I'll show you here in a little bit, but uh, non-alcoholic pina coladas and lemonades. Uh, again, I'll show you this strawberry and peach that we tried out. Number of seltzers and beers you can try and order number of different cocktail drinks you can get. You can also order some food, all sorts of chicken tenders, buffalo wings, chili cheese fries, little personal pizza. You can get uh, different salads, poolside, which is nice. And they have, again, you come out here for lunch, they're on the pool, full uh, burgers, tacos, um, all sorts of things, ice cream, all different things that you can order and a children's menu of a number of typical things you can get, but I'm gonna show you the drinks that we ordered. So we got two daiquiris. This one is peach, and this one is strawberry, and they actually have an edible straw that you can eat. All right, so which one do we like better? Strawberry or peach? Decisions, decisions. The winner is? And you say, Micah? Peach. Oh, so one vote for strawberry. And we actually have two votes for peach. So these are really fun with an edible straw you can actually eat. And here's just a look at, again, some of the water features around the pool. Very nice, very relaxing area. All right, so we're gonna head around the pool to the backyard area and show you a little bit more around the resort. These little butterfly benches are really cool right by this butterfly garden area that's in the shape of a butterfly. And moving on, every night they do bedtime stories here, which is great activity for the kids. And then our family really enjoyed this s'more fire pit area. So they provide you the s'mores that you need and the kids could all come around, get all the things that they need and come enjoy a s'more. This is a very nice fire pit area for a family. And then again, they were doing a movie this night. So you can come out here and watch a movie after you've been swimming and just relax a little bit. They also have this outdoor playground area. I really appreciated that the ground was nice and soft when you have little ones, but I'll give you a look at what the playground is like. Another thing we enjoyed in the backyard area of the Dream War Resort were these live musicians who played just amazing bluegrass music. We also really enjoyed these fire pits and uh, let's see if we can make it a little darker. Ah, oh, there we go. So 
great to sit around and enjoy in the evening time. We also enjoy just coming out here. They have a big open area with some cornhole boards set up. So great area and great time as a family to just relax. One other thing that we really enjoyed about this resort is the fact that you can utilize the transportation to the resort right to the theme parks so you can get right at the front gate and not have to hassle with worrying about parking. So it's a very nice thing about staying here at the Dream More. All right, heading back inside the hotel, I want to show you what the hallway is like leading to your room. You can see the butterflies on the floor, but we're going to show you here this king bed with bunk beds is like. All right, let's check out our room. As you walk in, you got some uh, hooks here. You can hang up things. And then you walk right into the bathroom. You can see here the shower. Got these on the wall here. Pretty good size shower. You've got your hair dryer here, some extra towels. Nice sink and a little storage area for your stuff. And then a separate closed door bathroom. You also even have a fancy little Dream More logo on your teepee. Right behind you, you've got a full length mirror. Yep. Hello. <laughs> so there's a door. If you got two rooms, you could adjoin them together. And then you have little here, here, kind of like a little mud room area. It's open. You could put some stuff down here in the drawers. A little laundry bag. You got your hangers, some extra blankets, iron, ironing board. Yep, you got a little little place here. It's just good to sit, put your shoes on or whatever. We're storing some of our stuff. So as you come in here to the room, this is a king bedroom. And we have a little bunk bed over here, two twin beds. And then you've got these lamps that all say Dream on it. Got some, uh, looks like some USB plugs here on your little side alarm. Everything is very dolly themed with butterflies and dreaming. And even your little door hanger that you put on says dreaming more when you don't want to be disturbed. So coming on over here, you can see this is a view of, oh, look at that. You got this great smoky mountains over here. And then you can also see some of the water park over here. So this is a little view out the front here. You see here the lamps have the little Dream More logo. Got some guitar artwork. Everything is very colorful in the room. Got a little uh, coffee machine here. All right, and then we have, looks like a postcard here. Yep, you got a little complimentary Dolly postcard from the Dream More. So looking here at the TV, this was kind of interesting. They have these over here, USB plugins. Yes, we got an HDMI plugin. Bluetooth and it looks like a headset or I guess you could play music from your phone over here on the side your little luggage guy here and then over here you got your safe under the TV again lots of storage you got your ice do do hickey I don't know bucket ice bucket yeah it's a bucket and then you got Fridge. Little fridge. Cool. Not gigantic, but you can definitely stick some water bottles or kombucha in my case here. And uh, yeah, one more little drawer here. So there's a look at the TV. What is that, like a 37 inch TV, I think? The other thing I want to point out is the ceilings are really high. You definitely don't feel like you're stuffed in here. It's uh, especially as you walk up to the windows, you have this beautiful, beautiful view of the Smoky Mountains. And so having these nice 
big ceilings that you feel like you have lots of room in here. All right, next I wanna give you a look at the restaurant inside the resort called The Song and Hearth. And we have always had a great experience every time we come here, great breakfast, really good dinner, and that's what we're gonna show you what the dinner is like here. And you can see the decor in here is just real country and cozy. Um, it's farmhouse style is how I would describe it. And up here is the bar area. Back here is some of the seating. Yep, they have won a Wine Spectator Award in 2021. We're gonna head in here to the restaurant and give you a look at what that looks like. All right, so the menu, they have breakfast and dinner, uh, buffet style. They always have the stone soup, and then they have different things. It kind of changes from time to time, but they typically have a lot of the same staple items. They always have a carving station of some sort, entrees, and there's always a children's station. So there's gonna be something for everyone to eat. So they always bring you a salad, it was okay, it wasn't like, you're not going here for the salad. This isn't a place you're going to diet. You can see here the kids got their own little Dollywood cups that they could take with them, souvenir cups. And here's the charcuterie board, which was quite delicious. Yeah, that's your Lunchables for adults here. <laughs> then, of course, they have a little pizza area, which, you know, if the kids just want a cheese or pepperoni pizza, so as you can see, they have some southern coleslaw, some honey seared salmon, chicken and dumplings. Beef brisket. This next one was actually one of my surprisingly favorites. This slow roasted Memphis dry rub pork ribs. They were just falling off the bone. I, I really was surprised. This was really good ribs. You got some barbecue sauce here on the corner. And over here you've got the classic fried chicken, which that was actually one of my favorites. Crispy, juicy. I also love this shrimp and grits. It really did surprise me. I, maybe I just hadn't had shrimp and grits in a while. I liked it a lot. And then of course you got your mashed potatoes. And your Brussels sprouts with bacon, can't beat that. Both were very delicious. Yep, you had some honey roasted carrots. And some corn succotash, which I really liked. Also some sweet potatoes and greens with bacon. So this is also one of my favorites. This was the bacon wrapped meatloaf. This thing was really good. Probably one of the best things that we had in the night. Yeah, and they have a little tomato sauce on the side you can put on, tomato jam, I think they called it. It was really good. Yep, you always are going to get stone soup whenever you come here at, at dinner time, and then the slow roasted prime rib. And then in the kids area, they have your classic chicken tenders with some ketchup, tater tots, and of course, over here, you also have some macaroni and cheese. Which, actually, I really enjoyed the kids' mac and cheese. It was quite good. They also have this fun area of seasonal fruit. Which they put in fun little mason jars and jello as well, which the kids just really love that. Yeah. And of course, banana pudding. So this was the shrimp and grits. Like I said, it really did surprise me. It was pretty good. What'd you think of the prime rib? Prime rib was actually surprisingly not my favorite. I really liked that meatloaf right there more than the prime rib. All right, so let's get into the good stuff. The, the desserts, you got some assorted cupcakes here. This is really fun for the kids to walk through and browse and pick out some desserts. So again, a traditional cupcake. 
And then you've got your bourbon glazed bread pudding, which was really, really good. Yeah, that was one of my favorite desserts. I think second favorite. We're gonna get to the best one here shortly. And of course you've got your cobbler, or I guess crisp, and every, uh, every season they have a different cobbler or crisp for you to try. Yeah, we uh, had tried their chocolate chip cookies. We had a, one or two of those that we shared as a family. Those were good. And again, your traditional cheesecake. Along with your traditional classic brownies. Pecan or pecan pie, however you say it. Pecan. I kind of pass on those. <laughs> you only got so much you can get. <laughs> and then red velvet cake with a delicious cream cheese frosting. I did try key lime pie, having grown up in Florida, love to try. But this is really why you're here, dessert-wise. The donut wall. Yeah, this is so fun for everybody to do. So when it's time to go get your dessert, you come over to the donut wall. This thing is so fun. You open up the case and uh, pick out your donut, and then you get to decorate it with all sorts of fun stuff. go delicious <laughs> so again this was that bourbon glazed bread pudding it was really good but again I think my number one was the donut it was really good so here's our total we are actually Dollywood pass holders which gave us a 20% discount but it's 25 for adults 14 for kids 3 to 9 if you have a kid 3 and under they are free so that was our total for a family of five um, that does include drinks too just to know all right, so that wraps up this video, giving you an overview of the Dream More Resort and Spa. If there's anything we didn't cover, please drop that down in the comments. We'll do our best to answer. Otherwise, hope this helps and you have a blessed day.